set more tutorial how to use set more for scheduling booking and more hey guys welcome to set more tutorial in which i will be showing you how you can use set more to organize your business with 24 7 automated online booking reminders payments and more so let's get into it First of all, what you're going to do is you're going to go to setmore.com and you will land on this website right here. So once you get to this website, you will need to sign up and signing the process is really easy. You can start for free with your Google account or using your email address. So after the initial sign up to your Setmore, this is where you will land. So this is my Setmore right here. Setmore is used for scheduling and for booking. We can also do payments and we can even create invoices with set more so uh, let's get into the process so you get this menu on this side of the screen where you will find calendar and this is the calendar view right here then we have services payments customers integrations and settings the first thing that you will need to do is you will actually have to go to the services and create your services that you will be providing now you can use set more for anything you can use it for your business you can use it for your online classes you can schedule um any kind of like services you sell so let's say that we have our marketing classes so for that, I, what I will do is I will go to services, click on this plus button at the top. And if it's a service or class you can choose, we will be choosing services. Now, what you have to do is you have to upload the service image. That is the first thing. And this is the image that your customer will see. So you can upload up to 5 MB in size. Then you have to give your service a name. So I'm going to go ahead and let's call it the test service for the purpose of the video. So we're just going to call it test and then we can give it a color just for the customization. So I'm going to just give it a pink color. Then we have the description. Now, this is where we will be adding the description for any of the services or the classes that we have. Let's say that I provide marketing services. So I will just write the word marketing for now. So we will leave it for now. And then we have the duration. Now, this is where I will select the duration of my services or my class. So let's say that my uh, this service, our, you know, lesson or type of like a master class is, uh, you know, two hours. So we can select from here. We're not going to select the minutes, but we're going to select hours. So let's say that this one is for one hour. So we're going to select 60 minutes here. And then we have buffer time. So if there's any buffer time that you want to add so maybe we can add like five minutes here and then this is going to be the cost so let's say the cost is hundred dollars for this one uh now we have the location so this one is in person or whether it's going to be online you can select from here so this one is actually in person so we're gonna select this and then we have the category now you can actually create different categories so you can create different categories here too uh, once you've added all of the details, click on create and your brand new service will be created. Now you can see this is what it looks like. And here are some of the examples as well, that this is what a service will look like. So uh, now we have different services created. We can simply go to the customer. Now this is where you can add different customers and you can import customers as well. Um, now you can get these customers from your maybe social media, maybe you're getting these customers from your newsletter anywhere, you can just simply click on add customer and you have to enter the customer detail. So full name, let's say my customer is Sarah. Uh, okay, then we have to enter their phone number. So for instance, this is their phone number right here. Then we have the email address. Now, uh, for the email address, again, you just have to enter the details and we're gonna simply go ahead and do that. After that, we have to enter the company name. So let's say the, she is from Z Tech. Okay, then we have to enter the address. Now, this totally depends on your customer and the details that you want to add. Uh, so once you've added all of these details, you just have to simply click on add save and your customer will be saved. Here at the bottom, you can see an add option that actually allows you to add a field to your customer. If you want to add their phone number, if you want to add their email address, website, Instagram, YouTube, or LinkedIn, you can add from here. And similarly, we have the import customers option available at all times within our customers so that we can import our our list anytime click on save and your brand new customer will be created under the customer section here now we're going to go back to our calendar and let me show you how to schedule an appointment for that you can select any time or any date from here or you can simply click on the add option at the top and now it allows you to add a new booking we're going to click on new booking and now the first thing we need to do is we need to select a service or a class. This is why we created a service first so that we don't have to, you know, hassle here. So we're going to select the test service here that I created. 
Then we're going to add the, now you can see all of the details are added here for the service we created. Add the guest. Now this is where I will add my customer or my guest or the person who has actually, who wants to book. So I will enter their email address or I can just simply add uh, the name as well. Then we have the add the video link. Now, if it's not in person, if, if you're having it online, you can select Google Meet or Zoom from here and you can add the link directly. Then we have the notes. This is where I can add any type of notes I want to. I will click on create and a brand new appointment or booking will be created. That's how easy it is to create a booking or schedule on our, um, you know, set more. We can click on this plus button at the top here and we can add a team member. So uh, if you want to add different team members to your set more, maybe you have a manager, maybe, maybe you have a teacher that you want to add. So you just simply add their full name. So let's say I want to add Ben and then you add their email address and then you select the um, their permission level. So we have no access, we have standard, enhanced or admin. So if they are admin, you, whatever type of permission you want to give them, you just add it you select from here and then you just click on add and a brand new team member is added. So I showed you how to create a new booking, how to create a team member, how to create a service, how to add customer and how to create a class. So let's say you want to create a class. So the process is going to be very similar to how we create a service. You have to add an image, you have to add a title here, then you have to add a description, you have to add the duration, seats and the cost. So for example, for the duration, again, maybe it's 60 minute class for the seats. Now, this depends on like maybe you, you have only 10 students per class or maybe you take 15 students per class so that's why the seats available or for per student how many seats you want to give you can select here and then you can add maybe like we charge again like maybe 100 so we can select from here we can select the location and category to create a brand new class so uh, you know using set more is really easy and it's beginner friendly or everything can be created with just one click from here at the top then we have the payment section now when it comes to appointments or booking or classes, uh, everyone wonders like the, if the payment method is easy or not. Well, you can connect any type of payment method to your site more and you can set up your appointment and scheduling and it will be very easy. Then we have the, uh, again, integration option here. With Set more, we can integrate any type of app. We can add Zoom, Google Meet. We can add our social media. We can add any type of payment method here. We can add the reviews. We can add the a booking website such as we can connect our set more to our WordPress, to Wix, Squarespace, Shopify, any of the, you know, um, e-commerce. Then we have the marketing apps available, business apps available that we can connect to our set more. So set more is all in one, very simple, easy to use platform that allows you to create bookings and schedule uh, appointments. So you can go ahead and check it out right now. Um, the signing up process is also really easy and then you can start creating your own booking page. I hope this video was a big help to you. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel.